I can't talk to her right now. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so we just ripped our face off. Uh, I could show you the mirror if you want me to, but okay. We did the metamorphosis. Oh, there's the the this the the breakup one's broken off. What was this one? Oh, uh, this is, looks weird. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Maybe it is. I don't know. Eldritch embrace, very spooky. Don't worry about these steps. <gasps> Lynetta. Yes, darling. I'm just checking, but you haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? The Eldritch Embrace spell it looks a bit different from the other rituals. <laughs> she wants to give us a hug. Oh, what's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. <sighs> I just... I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. I, I ripped my face off for you. a break from the real rituals. So I could spoil you a little. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet of you. But there's no time for breaks. Not even a quick one? Yeah, maybe a little one. Can't lose sight of my singular gold, smooching you. Well, right. And your sister. I'll leave you to it then. You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but... So here's where we left off. You haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? No. You're not talking about golden goddesses in my windows, are you? I've seen plenty of strange things lately. Out of gods, hands with mouths. <laughs> I meant things beyond the usual strangeness. That would hurt if you try to... Never mind. You haven't noticed anything watching you, have you? The Eldritch hmm. Horror is in my basement. Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? I'll just be right back. Stay safe, okay? Stay safe until I die forever. Okay, so we can do this one. Okay, Dark Communion for the ritual after Esther's banquet will have consequences. So we need to do a banquet. That's the next one, and the room we well lit. So we can either do the Dark Communion, or we can go into Esther's banquet, right? Prepare for C, but, but I'll die! So we can either choose to feed her or feed the other one. This one's got an actual smooch, and this one's got a broken smooch. That's not good. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Prepare for scene three by doing the following. Retrieve ingredients from cold storage. I guess that's same, same as before, like the milk. We got the milk. My face is exploded. Light red fire candles. There you go. Red fire candles. Allow the king into the room. Come on in, king. How are you? Oh, I can't talk to you? Okay. Do not make a mistake, or a hungry, uninvited guest may arrive. Oh, I have to chant something. It's just like that one thing. Oh. Do I need to, like, shut some of these on? Why not? I think it'll be okay. Don't miss. <laughs> Was I supposed to get that? Oh, it's in blue. So it's implying that I have to make that mistake. But I thought I had more than one of those. Switch. Simply ex. Oh, wait, she did, she's supposed to say that. Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet would do nicely. The room is filled with a mouth-watering aroma. A perfectly seasoned meat and fresh food. Meat. Fish. There must be a magical component involved here, because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Esther is strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. I got a fear. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Feed it to me. Just like an anime. What was that? It sounds like groans of murderous anger from outside my door. Was that from the mass stalkers outside? Have she not noticed that my face is kind of ripped apart? I guess not. They've all got masks on their face. They must be Esther's followers. Or even ex-partners. Then their groans were of jealousy. Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for the chance to spend any time with Esther. Or a baked potato. Just a moment, dearest. 
What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. I think I got it at Walmart. So, I'm buying blankets of cotton. <sighs> Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. Okay. Entitled it. That's so picky. Is that... Is she that uppity? Maybe I'll start with the grapes. Something that'll feed her princess complex. Uh, oh, honey. Delightful. She likes it. I'm glad. Another. Hey, think I could have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever mm. than that. Oh, hey, we got another smoochy thing. Okay, so we're closer to smooching. Oh yeah, she won't eat anything my lips have touched either. Of course not. Oh. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like to feed would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh heavens below, yes. I am pleased by this new attitude of yours, dear. He's gonna take a bite out of it. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, feed it to him. Like a baby bird. Mmm, the rouge is so good. I've never had anything like it. Let me try! Oh, you want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it. I... I don't want it after all! Sure, you don't. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, can I have some? Hold on. Hmm, that's really delicious. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magic. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert? Or suffer an indirect kiss? Angry exhales. <laughs> what was that? I order you to hand over the cream puff! Farewell, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands. But instead... Mm -hmm. Oh my. I forgot I was hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Mm, it really is delightful. I mean, that's technically a smooch, in a way. She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. I'll do more. I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealously da jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let that go on. Should we same of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? Well, let us resume the play. Okie dokie. So was that the big quiet? Okay. Ah, the king in yellow. This is the last act. Make sure. We're very close to the end of that her book. Should I draw the curtains? Or I will switch to this? Oh, the ritual after this. Hmm. Should we do Dark Communion? Let's go ahead and finish Esther's thing. I don't know if that's gonna... I'm sure it'll give us some ending. It's interiors... Setting. Interior. No light besides open window. Okay, so no light besides the open window. No lights. Gotta be dark. Host enters wearing robes and mask. Guess I still have the mask, hopefully. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it registers very well. Let's try. Damn the night and morrow self. Maybe look, look at this, make sure. Okay, so there's still other stuff too. Damn the night and morrow scornfully, wicked morning unremorsefully. Damn the night and morrow scornfully, wicked morning. Too fast. He didn't like my performance. Oh, I saw an eyeball. They really hate me. They ripped my face right off. I think I can just load the checkpoint. Oh, dang, she's got a lot. All right, let's do it. 
Okay. Okay, good. I have to make sure to do this. Perfect. Castle pitch control. I'll just do this. No lights except for the window. Okay, there is a mess right there. Um. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. It kind of changes position. Okay, we retrieve the greets from cold storage. Or that's the only way I just did. I did the banquet. Here are no lights besides open window. Is the window need to be open? Damn the night and borrow score for me. We get mornings and resourceful. Damn the night and morrow scornfully, wicked morning unremorsefully. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed. Why is it us only still? Or why is my wishes unfulfilled? This result truly befitted to a hunger such as thine. Hey, I see our friends behind us. Oh, your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die. It's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Yay, the end is nigh. Okay, um... Red... Oh, grab, grab it. Why is it? Gretchen, guess you come to mock me. For the amusement thou was talking. Wretched guest, you come to muck me for the amusement thou was talking, and so in the town you stuck me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thy just by broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden <sighs> guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Yatil. No, for I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow is on Yatil, and whose shadow you're in still. Dark as death is now Yatil. That looks spooky. Oh no. What? Bow, draw thy blade from my contusion. My life reaches its conclusion. Urk, draw thy blade from my contusion. My, le my life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusions that you truly are the king. Yes, you have granted all my wishes. Not forsaken me, if indeed you were the king. Why would you have murdered me? But I've granted all your wishes, I'm afraid. I disagree, all alone you are with all of your remaining family. And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. I'll be one of them, yay! Strong will fall to illness, haunt your tail with Stillness and none left alive to witness my ascension to your till. I'm giving you a bad review, you misspelled crypt. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still. He heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. Cries unprecedented in the history of your till. Wails unlike they'll ever be again in dark your till. That your invitations quill. Brought the king to black your tail. I would, I'd go with that. Yeah, I, I deserve to die after all that. Yeah, I did. Probably. My room looks empty. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you. You're all too kind. Where's my kiss? Listen to that applause, dearest. The euphoria of a flawless recitation. Sounds like I deserve a kiss. What's going on over there? There's like a leg or something going on. Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. 
fanatically revealing screams of terror and sadistic amusement, all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles! Aren't you proud of yourself? I'm bleeding out of my face! Why, why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here. My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseen. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Just like Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls. And the show begins. Show begins. I thought the show had ended. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this. And I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. <gasps> We're at the end. You mean the smooches you promised? Plural. You said you'd give me two. <laughs> now that's really all you can think about? <laughs> I'm pulling out my mouth, yes. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. Fuck her up. And you're worried about smooches? Two smooches. You are... An interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Yep, that's called marriage. Okay. So there is this... About the Black Tail host expo... I was supposed to expire it already. Last verse kills audience. I'm the audience. Oh, God. And you're the audience, too. But we're all dead. We cast the roast of whole, begin to play anew. Okay, the yellow sign. Ah. The yellow sign is only visible or drawn by those who have witnessed or performed the king in yellow play. Begin ex being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play of the king in yellow will cause a permanent irreversible obsession with the king, her court, and Carcosa. The insane obsession persists after death. Continue on next page. What does it say switch? If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving a window open, and light black fire candles, so all the worldly images to reveal themselves. The worldly images with the black candles and all the lights? That sounds like a hint. Oh, if I look at it, though. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought maybe there's going to be like a symbol... Hidden somewhere, but I don't see anything. Okay, maybe I was just crazy. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, what? I was. What? Blackfire reveals secrets. I was a smarty, but I knew it. So, do I have to fill this out in one go? Because that's not the other one, too. And there was one in. Was it in her book? But I had to finish, right? What if I do this now? Performing this for sure after this masquerade will have consequences. Hmm. Well, we already got this. Let's do Esther's ending. Okay. And it was just dim all lights, leave your windows open, light backfires. Make sure my lights are off. And then draw the symbol. Oh, she's got tentacles as well. I did not realize that. I imagine there we go. Behold, the yellow sign. Become my slave, my eternal captive audience. Yay, we're enslaved. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments, nations, relationships. Oh my! Some of those husks have wedding rings on their fingers. <gasps> I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with them like gold dust. We're like in a harem. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. <laughs> Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of cloud amongst the night-going crowd and shrewd wealthy types. Oh, but then it became more of a game. an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. Oh, uh, is this the busboy? That sucks. 
until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. Sorry about that. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. She liked me. Yay. Just as I've stolen every member of my I Probably entourage. should have seeked help from an unedited. Oh, well. oh, the hus. They're bleeding from the chest onto their elegant robes. Just like me. They finished it. All these people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. Because they like tentacles. No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Huh? <laughs> Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? I'm not under the effects. Were you unaffected? Did did the spell fail? The power of love or lust, whatever it is. I don't feel anything. You're supposed to be obsessed with me. Did Lynetta do something? Ah, uh, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <gasps> Luscious cats. You can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. It's called marriage, dear. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. Sounds like What I'm to me. talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. Yes, marriage. We call that marriage here. Yeah, that just sounds like marriage. No! I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time! Do you want me to get a dictionary? A servitude unlike anything on Earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else! No, we have that on Earth. It's called marriage. Exactly. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's too! That's not. How so? It means no freedom! Forever! are only permitted to do as I say. Yep. <laughs> and it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. I accept. Yeah, for sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Until death do us party. Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. Dear I got a smooch. You shouldn't. I, I, I stole you away. I ruined your relationship. But I didn't go Lynetta. up one, and I need another smooch. I preferred you from the beginning. I already broke up with Annette in the other reality. Remember? Actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. I'll just take it. Save it for our wedding day. Uh, it, you can't be serious. He was, he was serious. The king in white. Yeah. We got one. We got an ending. There you go. Three. Nice. I'm surprised that Eddie didn't come in and ruin it. What about that one? Do we need to... Should we try to go ahead and unlock the blue? Okay, wait, why are these... King and white. We performed. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm seeing... Okay, and there's something about... Hmm. Interesting. So what should I do? Okay, I think what I should do... I can't go back here, can I? Oh. Oh, okay. Delicious. Just as perfect as last time. As long as we keep finding each other, we can keep doing this forever. Hmm, what was that about? I like that. Do you remember the last time we did this? When you couldn't speak back to me? I do remember. So, you know what happens next, right? We are the ends again, One right? One last ritual, and then we say goodbye again. As always, take as much time as you need. I'll wait as long as it takes, darling. Might have gone back too far. Oh, who knew waking up could be so exhausting? Gotta take a nap before you will in everything. You know me so well. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. <laughs> I know what you did. 
don't look so surprised. Right before our date would have ended, you betrayed me. Don't think that there aren't consequences between realities, darling. She do. <laughs> I've already dealt with that pesky breakup spell in your book, as I'm sure you've noticed. I noticed. So just take the straight and narrow path of loyalty in front of you, and we can keep doing this forever and ever and ever. Okay. Hmm. Could you hit the lights for me again, darling? Sure. She didn't say thank you, my love. Performing the rituals after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. Okay, the breakup spell is gone. Eldritch Embrace is still there. Okay, which one am I on with the bank? Oh, that's the final pledge. Was oh, let me see if there's because there was oh okay. No, that's it. So let's try to just summon this one. Okay, this is the masquerade. Let's see, makeup guy backstage in the enclosed room with the mirror. Apply the masquerade mode. Oh, my face. Okay. Apply the masquerade first. My face. Adorn the host in elegant robes. Get those robes on. Okay. Fix ritual knife. I uh, have it. And a turtle. Look in a mirror. Make sure it is on. We have zero smooches with her. Oh. Gotta save that water. Just keep slipping off. Must make my face incompetent. Hi. Aren't you in proper dress, dearest? We got one. Yay. I'm just having pre-show jitters. Getting a mask on isn't tricky with my hands shaking so much. Jitters? Yeah, you know. Uh, I know. I look like a playboy, but I got nervous if I pretty girls like you. Dearest, you love your king, yes? Yes, my darling. <laughs> yeah. But you would never lie to her, correct? Right. Wouldn't dream of it. Then tell me, what happened to your face? I try to avert my gaze, but her iron grasp grass holds my chin firmly in place. Her long, sharp nail is digging into my cheek. What an unfortunate accident. And an even more unfortunate face. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. For now, we shall conceal that hideous visage of yours beneath the hood of your robe. Hopefully, this won't affect your performance. New stuff. And in the interest of not having further accidents, you will have my undivided attention from now on. You don't look at my bedroom. You may express your gratitude to your king. Thank you, my king. Thank you, your highness. Oh, and dearest, one more thing. I may not be as barbaric as my sister, but I assure you I can be twice as dreadful. Do not give me cause to demonstrate. She gotta pull my organs out of my butthole. Oh, and she got a bad thingy. Okay. Uh, Cosmetic setting interiors. Well lit. The interior. Do I look okay? Oh. I had typical figures. Oh, nice. Looking good. She, oh, she's gone now. That's interesting. Well lit. Open this, I guess, I think. Where was a mask? I imagine I still have those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome company, much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. Welcome coming, may and cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share, which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself. But I'll be beside myself when the king reveals herself, himself. So. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you mm. stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. Ah, I hate the heart beating. 
Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime until that comes. There is still time. Be graciously obeisant, demonstrate a courtly I'm so glad I don't have to actually perform this, because God, I suck at plays. All who live in doomed Yatil will know without report the king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. Okay. Okay. I was waiting, I was like, was I supposed to say something? Or what? I think it An immaculate performance, dearest. Bravissimo. Thank you. There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. Quite hilarious. If you like the fact that I die. Oh, that's actually good. He's relief. Your character is slain and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. He gets he married. Of greed, influence, and fame. He dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait, my character dies? I'm gonna die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely... Yeah, we know this. I anticipate... However... Do the bucket say. Interesting. What should I do? Should I try to do this one? The banquet. Let's go ahead and do the banquet. Because it says it'll have to be consequences. Okay. Retrieve ingredients. Do I have them already? I already have them. I need a turtle. Red light candles. Nope. I already made a mistake and did the thingy, and I got the thing, right? Yeah. I already used up my supplies to cook Vanetta. Oh, that's what I've just left up in front of communion. Uh-oh. You must be kidding. You were seriously planning on serving this to me? You want a banana pill? I think that's a banana. Wait, I can explain. Do. I have nothing. <laughs> we could pick up the bones a little. Just... leftovers for a king? How humiliating! If you would serve your king leftovers, who, pray tell, did you find worthy of the feast? Lanetta, she's got bigger boobs than you. She's on to me. She's gonna figure out how to serve it to Lanetta. I hear heavy chains dragging nearby. I just got hungry. I skipped breakfast this morning, so... You ate an entire feast on your own because you were feeling peckish. Mm. So, That's the person before. you think deserves to eat before the king does is you? Such self-idolatry is a serious crime against me, god king and heiress to Carcosa. Conveniently, the punishment for blasphemy and treason is the same. Death. Oh, okay, good. <sighs> what a shame. I thought you had what? some potential, but already you're a totally worthless servant in the end. Oh, that hurts. Oh god, she's serious. I'm seriously gonna die here again. Wait, what if I did something to appease you? Then would the be my crime be forgiven? I am god king. All is as I say. If I wish for you to be pardoned, then it shall be so. Pardon me. <laughs> Perhaps if you grovel on your hands and knees, I can let you off lightly. I immediately drop into a full prostrated prostration bow. Please forgive me. Let me make things up to you. I beg of you. <laughs> you look so pathetic like that. <laughs> Very well. You shall be. I'm a lowly worm. Forgive me, but don't let me off with that harsh reverse. You. Don't you think you said that too willingly? <laughs> you spanked my ass. I'm just checking, but... He's into it. You're not... enjoying this, right? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, you shameless pig! You're lower than... This is what you were about 
to try to beat me, right? And this will be your trough, swine! Looks like brains. Oh, you want to bite, even though my lips have touched it? Open wide! And don't drop a single morsel. I won't forgive you if you make a mess on my gown. A juice-soaked morsel from the leftovers is shoveled into my mouth. Oh. Feels gritty with an unusual texture like it's covered in thousands of small hairs. Ew. It's strange, strange, strangely. Can't even begin to guess what food this used to be. I tried to gulp it down before I could taste it. It was too big to swallow whole. That's what she said. If I just bite it in half once and swallow the pieces, I might get it down before I gag. That's what she said. As I bite down, it bursts like a tomato, filling my mouth with a sweet juice. Tastes extremely fruity. Sort of pineapple-y, even. That is... that is... good. It's better than good. It's great. It's godlike nectar. Instantly addictive ambrosia. More! I need more! It's too delicious to have just one bite. It's seriously like nothing else. As soon as I swallow, I feel the immediate effects of withdrawal. My fond memories of any other food fade to utter disgust. The mere thought of ever eating anything else makes my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth as much as I can. Oh, give me more! It's McDonald's! The smooth nectar bursting from every bite swims around in my mouth, coating every sentence. It's so delicious that it's making my mouth tingle. Mm -hmm. oh, did I just bite my cheeks? Why do I taste blood? Oh, he's eating himself! Dull tingling suddenly turns into a sharp sting. Then into an unbearable burning. My whole mouth feels raw, like I'm gargling acid. Like my mouth is being digested. Yeah, pineapples will do that. I look to spit it out, but my wheel power fails me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's just too good. Just a little while longer. Let me chew it just a little while longer. The food falls out of my mouth. The splat is a heap of bloody viscera. Viscera. Might be imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. It's part of you. It's your baby. The whole. Wipe away that sour expression, dearest. The next act is about to begin. And everyone will be watching. Yay! Okay. So what should I do now? Okay, that was the last part until I technically will die. I wonder. I'm gonna change the black. Change the book. Is there a, a symbol hidden in the black thing? Oh, I, we have to turn off the lights. Because it worked in the other book. I know I'm kind of spitballing here, but you never know. Okay. Wait, is my face like all destroyed? They ate like that thing. Yeah, that don't look too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. She won't notice. Hmm. So let's. Should I go ahead and finish hers? Or should I go ahead and do this? When the ritual after disaster will have consequences. Let the room be well lit. Did I already do this one? Okay. Let's go ahead and do the final pledge with Lynetta. And maybe that'll be okay. okay. Chant five times, have a ritual knife on my person. And I got Toidal. Okay. Filling it with my heart. Don't worry about it. That was number, th that was number three. For one more. Wait. Wait, s stop. I need to talk to you first. We were almost done. What is it? What if... What if we didn't complete the final ritual? We'll go get married again. What if I stayed to sleep longer? So we could have a little more time together. I would like that. Sure. Just you and me. Lingering in a doomed world, alone. Like an endless dream come true. I mean, who hasn't dreamed about that? Doesn't that sound nice? It does. It does sound nice. Wait, no! I'm sorry. We're I had to. We're finally going to be together forever! 
but, but for the plot we would have been so happy it's like a drama from like the 1980s this reality is doomed he said once this dream has to end eventually if you keep a dream going on forever it has to become a nightmare eventually or worse take a look at the world around us take a good look at me is this what you want our reality to be like? Of course not. My life. Oh, I made her cry. My dream of being with you forever. Oh no. It never come true. But we could be together for a short time. Forever. But I'm not ready to say goodbye again. Why can't we just stay for good? Why can't our time together only be brief meetings and long farewells? So poetic. What if we're saying goodbye forever? If I'm your dream guy, then there's no way this is goodbye forever. It's no big deal. You can always dream of me again. Darling, please don't go. I can stay asleep a little longer. I can. I'll be right back. Darling! No. <laughs> <laughs> Harley, thank you for giving me a dream wonderful enough to remember clearly. Where is she waking up from if all of our reality is in her dream? Make my burn hurt. My garden looks like this. Remember that when you dream to see him again. Quick, in two. Okay, that was another ending. Wait, uh, so that would be on this end, and there is something like over here. Wait. Oh, oh we did get this one. Nenenetep catastrophe. Hmm. Well, we got a couple more other endings over here in this one, and we unlocked a couple more, and one of them isn't showing up for some reason. I have no idea. I think I'm going to end this episode here, though. So we'll catch up to these other endings, possibly in the next episode. And then we'll do these endings. And then we'll do another episode where we do this one and see what this is about. So I will see you all later. Have a good one. Like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.